quarter. Well, it was a bit of a you know subdued quarter, if you could say uh, that. Uh, could you tell us what were your sales volumes in the last quarter? What were your sales volumes uh, in FY17? And what are you looking to do in terms of sales volumes for FY18? Okay, see, the last quarter we could uh, uh, be a little more than about 4 lakh tons uh, we sold. And uh, the overall uh, in the year, we could uh, cross about uh, 1.5 million uh, tons of uh, cement in the last uh, financial year. In fact, uh, this current uh, financial year idea is to touch I mean, at least uh, cross uh, 2 million tons. The capacity, because the new capacity also will be getting in sometime next uh, in three months' time. So with that, we expect uh, to touch at least uh, 2 million tons. So 2 million tons is yeah, your right. expectation by FY18. Um, what about yeah. the EBITDA per ton? What was it in this quarter in Q4? And what is the expectation for the next two quarters? The, the EBITDA per ton in the last quarter was around uh, 600 rupees uh, per ton. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be happy, I mean, if it uh, is maintained for this uh, current financial year also. All right, uh, Mr. Ravi, you know, you're looking to maintain the EBITDA per ton of around 600 rupees. Uh, you know, besides the numbers, I'm, I understand that in South India, there are some pressure on pricing. From the highs of April, prices have corrected. Uh, is there, you know, some kind of state government that has said that you'll have to reduce uh, prices? Could you give us some clarity on that? And how much are prices corrected from the top? Okay. See, I think about um, the correction was of the order of about 20, 25 rupees in this last uh, two months uh, time. But uh, the demand is uh, really good now. The infra demand we are able to see, particularly all those uh, leading uh, road contractors, uh, they started buying cement uh, from us and uh, the follower of the irrigation project, in fact, they started uh, consuming uh, cement. Similarly, railways, in fact, uh, all those railway sleeper manufacturing units, uh, they started buying cement from us. So overall, the demand uh, is good and I mean, um, see, my expectation is next uh, two, three years, I think the cement is going to do very well. Okay, that's quite yes, positive. Uh, the cement demand has picked up. So I guess that could be the reason why you're expanding capacity as well, both in your cement business as well as in your uh, board division. Uh, can you tell us once the full capacity comes on stream, what will be the total capacity in cement? What will it be in the board's division and by when? Okay, cement division, we are adding uh, of 30,000 tons uh, per annum capacity, and uh, we are adding another 30,000. This uh, board's plant probably the next month will be able to commission the third plant. And with that, uh, it's going to be about 90,000 uh, tons per um, uh, annum capacity. All right. Uh, so to add all these capacities, what is, uh, you know, do you require any money? Will you raise any money? Uh, could you help us out with that? And I'm just looking at it, sir, you know, uh, your long-term borrowings appears that uh, it's gone up to around 230 crores. Uh, could you clarify on that? What is the current net debt in your books? Yes, see, as you know, we have raised about, uh, we have to come out of uh, CDR, mm. we have raised about uh, 325 crores uh, from Pyramidal Enterprises as the NCDs. And uh, with that, partly we have repaid to the regular bankers and partly we are utilizing it for our uh, expand, uh, CapEx. So with that, uh, see, naturally we had drawn some additional amounts from Pyramil. To that extent, I think the long-term uh, borrowings have uh, gone up. Otherwise, the total borrowing is uh, not very high. So what is it, it's sir? What uh, is the total borrowing in your books currently? It's about, uh, I think, uh, 220 crores uh, for Pyramil and banks, another uh, about 260 crores or so is the long-term borrowing. All right, so long-term borrowings, total long-term borrowings is at around 260 crores. Is that number right, sir? Yes. All right, so yes. final question I wanted to ask you. Uh, you know, promoters, I think they hold around 50%, 49% in the company. 
around 80 percent is pledged. Where is this pledge, sir? I, and are you looking to relieve some of this pledge? And there is a, you know, there is some rumor that in fact maybe there is some uh, sale of uh, shares by the promoters. Is any of that true, or is the promoter holding constant at 49, 49 and a half percent, or whatever? It's a constant, I mean, see, at uh, more or less the same uh, capacity. Mm. And uh, most of these shares are pledged with uh, Parabell, I mean, to, uh, because of that NCD, is, uh, NCD, about 325 crores, what we have raised uh, uh, from them. See, there's a small discrepancy. Some of the shareholders, I mean, uh, without uh, the proper knowledge, they have sold some shares in the market. That's oh. a very small percentage, and that by mistake. Uh, but uh, this is not, uh, and that, um, SEBI, in fact, uh, uh, they have raised an objection uh, on that, and we are trying to uh, correct uh, that. Uh, other than that, I don't think any other um, shareholders, have, uh, the promoters, have sold any shares. Uh, Nigel. All right, uh, Mr. Ravi. Thanks so much.